Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to hide a bad USB rubber ducky made out of this Raspberry Pi Pico, and we're going to hide it in this keyboard. For those of you who don't know what a bad USB is, it is a simple USB drive, but when you plug it in, it emulates keystrokes through a little microcontroller that it has in size, which enables it to execute payloads and emulate keystrokes. So through emulating keystrokes, it can do a variety of different things and it can be very bad business for your computer if you have a malicious bad USB plugged into it. But now that you know what a bad USB is, I have a video here showing how to make a bad USB out of this $7 Raspberry Pi Pico. So if you want to find out how to make a bad USB out of a Raspberry Pi Pico, then check out this video, which I'll leave here and I'll also have in the description down below. But now let's get started and hide this bad USB inside of this keyboard. Okay, so before we build this thing, we're going to need three things, obviously. The first thing we're going to need is a Raspberry Pi Pico or a bad USB, whichever one you want. If you guys don't have a bad USB, then check out this video where I review a bad USB off of Amazon or check out this video where I make a bad USB out of this Raspberry Pi Pico, which is the preferred method for this video. If it's a Raspberry Pi Pico, then what you're going to need is a micro USB to go into this Raspberry Pi Pico, preferably a longer cord so it can emulate the length of a normal keyboard cord. So if we look at the one I used, it is like a 10 foot micro USB cable that plugs into my keyboard. So you'd never know the difference you just think it's some regular old keyboard. If you use a short micro USB keyboard for this, it might look a little weird with a keyboard with a really short USB um, cord coming out of it. So we're gonna need a Raspberry Pi Pico, we're gonna need a long micro USB cord, and then lastly, obviously, we are going to need a junk keyboard. It doesn't have to be a junk one, it can be one that you have laying around that you don't use anymore, or one that came with a desktop that you don't use if you got a nice cool custom one like me. So you can use whatever kind of keyboard you want. I'm using this thinner one so that it won't look like something's hidden inside of it. Um, you can use those thicker old ones. They might be a little bit easier to hide something in. But nevertheless, once we got our three items to make this happen, we can go ahead and get started. Okay guys, now let's build this thing. So the first thing we're gonna do obviously is start with the screws. We're gonna get all of these undone and then we can pop open this keyboard with our screwdriver and get to the insides. Once we get our keyboard popped open, we can see this green circuit board right here that is basically just the controller for this keyboard. And what we can do to this is just remove this bracket so we can go ahead and put our Raspberry Pi Pico on top of that circuit board. I'm also going to remove some supports here just to get it some more clearance. I'm going to get some 3M um, double side adhesive tape to put on the back of my Raspberry Pi Pico bad USB so that it will stay in place. And when I put it in the first time right here, I notice that it does not have enough clearance to actually fit inside of this keyboard with that other green circuit board there. So what I did was remove some more supports around the outside and then remove the actual circuit board itself for this um, keyboard. So it will not be a functioning keyboard anymore, but it did allow me enough room to put in my Raspberry Pi Pico in there with enough room for the cord as well so that I can hide it inside of this keyboard and nobody will be able to tell. So once we've hidden that and done our cable management, we can go ahead and snap back on the top of this keyboard. 
and it's just like how we snapped it off we can just put some pressure on either sides and snap them back into place and once this keyboard is snapped into back into place it is basically our finished product and here we have it our keyboard with a bad USB hidden inside so now when we plug in our keyboard or bad USB rubber ducky it will emulate whatever keystrokes we tell it to in our payload folder in my payload folder I have uploaded into this bad USB it is a simple file that will take us to the internet and then search my YouTube channel and play a video so let's see if it does just that when we plug in this keyboard slash bad USB all right so here I am taking the USB cord and plugging it in and now let's see what happens on my computer So we can see it opens up run, types in Brave, hits enter, and then goes to the web address search bar and searches my video, and then it hits enter to play. And then here I just wanted to show you guys quickly um, this payload folder and then open it up so you guys can see what exactly is in it. So it is just some ducky script doing what I just told you. It's going to open up Brave and search my YouTube video and it's going to play it for you. So this is what this payloads folder looks like. If you guys want to learn how to write some ducky scripts and your own payloads folder, then check out this video and also the link in the description where I have some videos and episodes on how to make ducky scripts and write your own ducky scripts. So that's it for this video guys. Just a cool video showing you guys how I hid a bad USB inside of this very inconspicuous keyboard. So this should be just an example for you to stay alert out there and not plug random things into your computer. But again guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.